Hello and um, welcome to WiseLink Academy. Today we'll be looking at let's look at how to inscribe a four circle in a square to touch two sides and two other circles. Yes. How to inscribe four circles in a square to touch two sides and two other sides. I will explain I will explain that concept. After I finish drawing that um, square and four circles inside it, now what the concept here? Our measurement is going to be 80. Um, the dimension of the square is going to be what 80. So if my length is 80, automatically my other length is what 80. The other length is what 80 and then 80, right? So I draw my horizontal line and um, a vertical line to form a square. After that, I inscribe my um, four circles inside it such that two touches, two sides, and two other circles. Let's do that. So, draw a horizontal line at this point. I'll draw my horizontal line. Right? This is my horizontal line. So, I pick a point. Let me just pick a point. Um, let me just pick somewhere here. Right? At this point, take it up. I have this. Let's stop. I will take my compass, right? I will measure 80 from this point here to this point is 80, right? So as you can see, 80, 80. So make sure you are measuring that accurate. 80. Next up, at this point, this at this point, strike an arc here, and then finally at this point, strike an arc here. So this is my 80. Now, at this to at this point, you take this point upward. That point, take that point upward. Take it upward this way. Similarly, you take this one to close that part. With a tick line, this tick line, this right. Next up, I will take this to this. I will take it up. Right. Next up, I will. Take it at this point and um, taking this part. Similarly, I'll do something else. Taking this part too. So I have this square, right? So next up, what we do now is to inscribe those four circles in this um, square. Now the first thing is to get the middle point of this square. How do I go about that? You know, from this point to this point is 80. So half of it is going to be 40. So I'm going to 40 on my metal row. This way, 40. Take it this way, 40. Right, this is my 40. So I'll take it at this point. Strike an arc here. And then um, strike an arc at this point. So similarly, I will go away from my T square. I will draw a horizontal line at this point. With the help of my set square i draw a vertical line that's their functions t square a set square helps to draw vertical line whereas a right t square helps to draw horizontal line so take this at this point right at this point this point the vertical line downward so obviously where the line means is my center line this point is my center line Next up, next thing I will do is draw a diagonal line. A diagonal line is a line I will cross to through a circle. So let's do that. I will draw this to this so that it passes the center of the circle. Faint line, please. As you can see. Next up, take this point here to this. Right? Take it to this. I have this. Right? So next up, I will. I let me call this my. A, I call this B, I call this C, and I call this D. Right? Let's stop. I, I will connect this A to B with a faint line. Please take note. With a faint line. Similarly, B to C with a faint line. Obviously, D to C. Right? D to C. So, something else. I will do that to what? A and D. A and D. I have this. Right? Next up, 
what we just do now is to get a center point right so add, i'll take this edge here this one here i'll call it e from this my point here i will draw a vertical line down with the top of my set square and my t square this way right you place them this way so you draw vertical line from at this point this point here draw it downward this way i have this so what i'll do next now is to take my compass right i will measure the distance from this point here um to this uh, my point e right to this my point e be careful please i have this so similarly i come to my point e here i draw circle this way circle this way such that the circle touches the sides of uh, a square i have this let's stop i will come to this point here so i will draw the same circle this way right similarly i will come to this point here draw the same circle this way next up i will come to this point here and um, draw the same circle this way here i have it i have definitely what inscribe four circles in a square now such that two uh, to touch two sides right and two other circles this and this are touching this circle where the circles this and this part are touching this circle so here's the concept if you found this video helpful kindly click on the subscription button and like thank you welcome to wise link academy